Let's really imagine this world where each baby's DNA is manipulated from the moment of their conception in the lab, where parents' immediate desires are written into their future children's genome and the generations to come. What would this world look like? Would the, quote, best genomes go to the most privileged? Would we find our society divided into genetic haves and have-nots? These are crucial questions that we need to consider as we make this decision whether to go forward with heritable germline editing, altering the DNA of eggs, sperm, embryos, to affect the traits of the children that will come from them. I'm here to make the case that this practice is not safe, it's not needed, and it has the potential to vastly increase the already outrageous inequality that we're experiencing. Many believe that germline editing is necessary to prevent the transmission of serious genetic diseases, but it's not the case. Parents who know that they're at risk of passing on a condition and would like to have an unaffected child and also be related, uh, to have the child be related to both parents genetically, are already able to do this with an established and safe embryo screening technique. Now, embryo screening and selection raises a number of serious ethical concerns. But germline editing amplifies these concerns and carries additional safety and societal risks. What germline editing makes possible that selection does not is this prospect of human enhancement. And this is where we could see its most dangerous effects in exacerbating inequalities. Even if enhancing complex traits like IQ or musical talent is technically dubious as it is at the moment, Supposedly, enhanced children would be perceived and treated differently. And since it would likely be that these technologies were available only to the wealthy, at least at first, the advantages that these children had would be attributed to their genetics rather than to privilege. We might end up writing our current cultural biases into the genomes of generations to come would-be parents could feel pressured to choose traits from a very narrow range of cultural and social norms. And because these biases actually influence the way that we define disease, it really is such a fuzzy line to try to say which of these uses would be medical and which wouldn't. We might also find that disability would be even further stigmatized than it is today. Heritable genome editing is not inevitable. Dozens of countries have already prohibited it. This is a place where we have the opportunity to draw a clear line. We can develop this technology to treat sick patients and not to design babies. We should imagine the future that we want to build for the generations to come. I think we'll see that Heritable genome editing will not get us there. Thank you.